five years on from 9-11, what is the legacy of 9-11? When you have a challenge, a challenge that terror has imposed, uh, the, real the, the real issue is how do our democracies respond? Do they respond by a reaffirmation in our values and a rational response? Or do we act like a chicken with their head cut off? And unfortunately, in this particular case, we acted in some ways worse than a chicken with their head cut off because some of the things we did really undermined our basic values. When we went into Iraq, we said what was needed was to win the hearts and minds of the people of Iraq, the people of the Middle East. We knew that there was a lot of alienation in what we've done. We've lost the hearts and minds. People who were pro-American, pro-Western, have become anti-American, anti-Western. When people talk about the cost of the war on terror, they usually talk in terms of, uh, well, it's cost this many lives, and the U.S. Army the military has lost this, etc., etc. What is the economic cost? Not just how many dollars it has cost the American military to, to propagate the war on terror, but what, what is the impact and the effect of that cost on the world economy? Well, there are a whole variety of costs that go well beyond the budgetary cost. For the U.S., there's a cost. We will be paying the cost for the next 40 years. 20% uh, of the people coming back with injuries mm -hmm. come back with very serious spinal brain injuries. They're going to need lifetime care. Uh, the cost to the American economy and the global economy is partly through the rise of the price of oil. The price of oil is, is risen from $20, $25 a barrel to $80 a barrel. Uh, back in the early 70s, we had a, a similar kind of disruption in the supply mm -hmm. of oil, and it took years for the global economy to recover from that kind of disruption of that magnitude. Now, we don't know the full consequences of this huge disturbance to the global economy. We might be able to manage it better than we did back in the 70s, but there's no doubt it will put inflationary pressures on the global economy, the inflationary pressures will lead to higher interest rates. Uh, higher interest rates and the higher prices of oil will lead to a global slowdown. Mm -hmm. uh, unemployment will rise. Uh, it's not good for the global economy. So do you think America has wasted that money? The yes. trillion dollars and rising? More than, it's worse than wasted because today there is more bitterness. We've lost, as I said, the hearts and minds of the people it will take us a long time to, to go back to where we were, let alone persuade them that there is an alternative way, uh, a way of becoming integrated in the global society.